If you want to see some sensible transfers for your team, The Athletic are covering every club listed here. And you can get 40% off an annual subscription to start reading today. In this series, we analyse teams, identify problem areas and suggest solutions in the form of incoming players. Today's episode is about Bayern Munich. Welcome to Sensible Transfers. While future chairman Oliver Kahn has emphasised youth development from within Bayern's ranks, the Bavarian conveyor belt has yet to spit out much in the way of talent recently. Bayern have therefore done the next best thing, buying young, talented players from other Bundesliga sides or the periphery of the other big European clubs. Leroy Sana, PSG's Tanguy Nianzu and Gladbach's Mikel Cuisance have all been added to a squad already brimming with ability and fresh from winning the Champions League. Bayern are a brilliantly run club, one of the best in Europe, despite the occasionally tempestuous relationships at boardroom level. They have a clear strategy for transfers, young, preferably relatively inexpensive and with a very high ceiling. Under the supervision of sporting director Hassan Salahamidzic, Bayern have continued this financially prudent rebuild and while all three of the aforementioned transfers are undoubtedly sensible, Bayern do have other areas that would benefit from investment. They'll approach this much the same way too, aware that even though they are financially stable, they can't compete with the other European superclubs for stars in their prime. Tactically, Hansi Flick is settled, and Bayern's style of pressing, ball circulation and attacking with pace down the flanks informs these decisions. A new right-back is definitely a priority. Thiago may leave, so cover in central midfield would be welcome, ideally someone who can progress the ball well and maintain Bayern's energetic pressing. And according to The Athletic's Rafa Honigstein, Bayern are also in the hunt for a winger. Now, these are the three areas where Bayern should be looking. The team's right-back situation is odd. In Kimmich, they already have one of the world's best, and Pavar, a World Cup winner in that position. But both players' futures are likely elsewhere on the pitch. One option for the short term is William, the 25-year-old Wolfsburg player. He's a reliable attacking fullback, vying with Kevin and Bamboo for the starting berth. He has plenty of Bundesliga experience and is a bright and busy presence on their flank. Tifo's suggestion, though, is AC Milan's Davide Calabria. The club have indicated a willingness to sell the 23-year-old, but he has the potential to excel. He's always looking to push up on the overlap or cut inside to get into the edge of the box. He needs to work on his end product, and one goal and one assist isn't a great return for over 1,600 minutes last season. But his passing numbers are very good, with 9.2 progressive passes and 5.5 final third passes per 90. Defensively, he's also proactive, with 1.2 interceptions and 4.3 successful pressures per 90. He's not the finished article, but his ability to generate pace and width in attacks is exactly what Bayern are looking for. With question marks over Thiago's future, Bayern could be in the market for a creative, deeper-lying midfielder. Mikhail Cuisance could be a contender, but may be seen as a more dynamic presence further up the pitch. So Tifo's option for Bayern is actually to look within their own ranks, at Angelo Stiller. The defensive midfielder, who's 19 and currently with Bayern's second team, looks like a composed and intelligent defender with a good range of long passing. One goal and six assists in last season's UEFA Youth League is a good return for the left footer, who likes to sit deep and dictate play, but has the engine to get forwards too. He may not be one for this season, but his potential could mitigate Bayern's need to spend. An alternative, though, is Fausto Vera of Argentinos Jr. A tall, dynamic 20-year-old defensive midfielder, he only really started playing first-team football last season, but already looks an assured presence in front of the back line, with a nice range of passing and strong physical presence. He's also adept at sweeping long crossfield passes, which would suit Bayern's quick wide players. He looks like a very strong prospect and would adapt well to the base of Bayern's midfield. So, Bayern have Leroy Sarna joining, and at the time of writing, there is an option to take Ivan Perisic, the astute, hard working left winger, from Inter before the loan to buy expires. But the club appear to want to strengthen further in this area probably on the right, where Serge Gnabry has little competition. One left-field option is Brentford's 21-year-old Brian Mboma. His 15 goals and 8 assists in the championship, and one further goal in the playoffs, came at a much lower level, but he's a very smart wide attacker with excellent anticipation and technique, who gets the ball into dangerous areas and presses well. He would of course be a gamble, but he looks capable of playing at a higher level and is still developing. 
Tifo's suggestion, though, is Tete, the 20-year-old Shakhtar Donetsk winger. He scored eight and got four assists in the league last season. He possesses good acceleration and decision-making on the run, likes to cut inside, and has a good shot with his left foot. He doesn't always try to take the ball on either, but is happy to play safer passes to get himself into a good position. Shakhtar have a good track record of finding talented Brazilians who flourish at top-tier clubs, and Tete could well be the next. If you want to read a sensible transfers piece about your team, then you're in luck. We've expanded the series onto The Athletic, where dedicated club journalists have written a sensible transfer style article for every club listed here. And you can get 40% off an annual subscription to The Athletic by visiting theathletic.com forward slash Tifo Football Transfers and start reading today.